Hey everyone, Layla here, and I'm back with another From This To That. I know it's been a while, but I hope you enjoyed my last video. This time I'll be customizing two Funko Pops and turning them into Ariana Rawson and Kane Draven Rathmore, the main characters from RJ Lloyd's Everwinter. So let's get started. The Pops I selected for this custom are Grace from Will & Grace, Elsa, and Brian Luttrell from the Backstreet Boys. I'm going to put Brian to the side. I'll be working on him a little later and turning him into Kane Draven. In the meantime, I'm going to do a quick head spot between Elsa and Grace, and I'm going to use Grace's body with Elsa's head to make Ari. Okay, so now that Grace and Elsa are out of their boxes, it's time to dunk their heads in hot water. This softens the vinyl and the glue, making it easier for me to take their heads off. <laughs> that sounds real violent, doesn't it? But that's what happens. Dunk them in the water, glue gets soft, and bam, we can pop their heads off. So like I said, I'll be using Elsa's head on Grace's body. This is because Elsa's hair is closer to Ari's hairstyle than Grace, so it's less sculpting that I have to do. I'm also going to be removing her factory paint with 100% acetone, as you can see. And here I'm just mixing up a few different colors of paint to try to get the right skin tone. It took a few tries, but I think I got it right in the end. So now that I got a skin tone just the way I want it, I'm going to spray one coat of Mr. Super Clear or MSC on her to make it easier to paint and for the paint to adhere better to the plastic.
So now that I've done her skin, I'm moving on to her outfit. She has on this red velvet type dress on the cover of the book. So that's what I was aiming for with this color. I had to bend a couple of colors together like red and a bronze to get the color I want. So now that I'm done with her outfit, I'm going to do her shoes and I'm going to paint her hair black and then I'll move on to her tattoos.
Okay, so now that I'm done with Ari's dress, shoes, and hair, it's time to move on to her markings. These markings are spells written on her skin. I tried to mimic them as best I could from the book cover. It was a little difficult because she's a pop, but I did the best that I could. And here I am again, struggling with these markings, trying to get them the best that I can on her arm and to look how they look on the book cover. I did have a lot of fun doing these once I got to the leg and doing the bigger markings on her. Ta-da! Ari is all done. I finished her markings, I painted her eyes, and her did her sassy eyebrows. Um, before she's fully complete, I am going to paint her base black, and I'm going to cover up some little flaws that I see. But for now, it's on to Ken Draven and Brian Luttrell. All right, so now that Ari is done, we're moving on to Ken Draven, and I'm using the Brian Luttrell pop from the Backstreet Boys. Still mad I don't have that whole set yet. But anyway, I had to do a lot of modification to Brian. I had to re-sculpt his hair. I had to take off his beard. Um, but it was fun, even though it was a little tedious. All right, so the first thing for Ken Draven is I have to shave Brian's beard. So I use my Dremel tool to sand down his beard as best I can. And I also used 100% acetone to remove the factory paint. The next step after that was his hair, which I used two part epoxy sculpt clay to make.
Side note, I did not know that his entire face was painted, so all the factory paint ended up coming off of his face, but it's okay because I repainted it. So now I'm sanding with my Dremel tool to get rid of that beard. So now that I've removed his factory paint and I've sanded down his mustache and beard with my Dremel tool, I'm getting to work on his hair using two-part epoxy sculpt air dry clay. Well, isn't he looking snazzy? For this next part, I'm going to start repainting his skin tone. I mixed a few whites together, I think egg white and cream white, and maybe a little bit of brown to give me this palish type of color since he is the Vampire King. So now that I'm done with his skin tone, I'm moving on to his outfit. He's wearing a simple black suit, so it won't take me that long to repaint it. Throw on a couple coats of black, keep his shirt white, and there we go. We have a classy and elegant outfit.
and now it's time for those golden locks. I'm mixing two different yellows together to get the blonde that I want. I wanted a vibrant yellow blonde to stand out. Um, but I do end up putting in a little bit of white because it was too yellowy. So his hair is the blonde that I want. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking some metallic gold and I'm like dry brushing it onto his hair to give him highlights. Because I kind of wanted metallic highlights or it to look like it was shimmering. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so me being me, I forgot to record the last bit of the repaint, but I do have video of the finished product, so stay tuned. And Ari and Ken are done. Aren't they adorable? Oh, they look so great. I love how they turned out. I was worried about the hair, but it, in the end, it came out amazing. Um, I did make custom boxes for them, but recording it was just too much work by the time I finished this, and I was super tired. Next time, I'll make sure to record the boxes. In the meantime, Everwinter is available on Amazon, so if you want to know more about these characters, I'll leave the link in the descriptions below. With that being said, here's the cover for Everwinter. Let me know how I did on Ari's tattoos in the comments. And remember, here at LJ Rose Craft Creations, we always embrace the wicked. Until next time.